876 stream. It's that time again. It's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming. Football's coming home. Yep, that's right. The three Alliance are back in full effect. And we're going for the title. <laughs> it's now time for the 2022 FIFA World Cup predictions. What are my thoughts? Who do I think will win the World Cup? Well, let's have a look. Let's give it some thought and let's be objective here. So let's start with Group A. Qatar, their first World Cup, 80th team to play in a World Cup. Ecuador, they played 2002, 2006, 2014 World Cup. They went to the round of 16, 2006 in Germany. Senegal, quarter finalist in a 2002. And of course, the Netherlands, a team that has been to the World Cup final on three occasions. My top two, Louis van Gaal's Red Army. <laughs> Orange Army first. I'm gonna go with Qatar second, you know why? The host nation, the 12th man, plays a massive, massive impact. Only South Africa in World Cup history as a host nation hasn't passed the first round. And then I'll have Senegal third, and then I'll have Ecuador at the foot of the table. Let's see what a lot of people were predicting here. A lot of people predicted Qatar and Ecuador to top the group. Interesting. Oh well. What group B? What are people saying here? People have England and Iran to top the group. Interesting. All right. England, winners 1966 and 2022. Iran, the United States, semi-finalists 1930. Wales, their second World Cup and their first since 1958. I'm going to go with England to top the group. Uncle Sam's army second. Wales third and Iran fourth. Wales in the United States was a toss-up, really. United States, youthful team, budding, talents coming through. Wales, an aging squad from year 2016, don't think they have the same energy and the gas like they did six years ago. So that's why I have the United States moving forward. Group C, Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, and Poland. Argentina unbeaten in 35 games. Well, I think they continue. Mexico, L3, si se puede. Wait a second. Robert Lewandowski. Sorry, man. You're going home. And Saudi Arabia. Group D, France, Australia, Denmark, Tunisia. You know, it's funny. The last three World Cups, the three winners were eliminated in the first round of the next World Cup. So Italy, who won 2006, they were knocked out first round 2010. Spain, winners 2010, knocked out first round 2014. And of course, Germany, winners 2014, knocked out first round 2018. Are France going to be next? Hmm. I'm going to go with Denmark to top the group and France to come second. And third will be Australia. And then we're going to go with Tunisia to finish fourth in the group. Group E, España, Costa Rica, Alemania y Japón. Spain, Costa Rica, Germany and Japan. I'm going to go with the Germans to top the group. We're going to go with the Spanish to come second, the Japanese third, and Costa Rica fourth. Tough one for Los Ticos. And Group F, a compelling group. Belgium, Canada, Morocco, and Croatia. I'm going to go with Belgium to top the group. And I'm going to put the Canadian in second. Alfonso Davis, I'm looking at you. Croatia third, and Morocco fourth. Group G, Brazil, Serbia, Switzerland, Cameroon. I'm going to put Cameroon at the foot of the table. Serbia third, Switzerland second, and Brazil at the top. Group H, Portugal, Ghana, Uruguay, and South Korea. CR7, Bruno Fernandes, then Edinson Cavani, Luis Suarez second, South Korea third, and Ghana fourth. Let's go to the round of 16, shall we? So for the round of 16, I'm gonna go with USA or the Netherlands? The Dutch. Argentina, France? Argentina.
Germany, Canada. Germany. Brazil, Uruguay. Brazil. England, Qatar. England. Denmark, Mexico. I want Mexico to go through, but I'm going to have to go with the Danes. Belgium, Spain. Belgium. Portugal, Switzerland. Portugal. Belgium, Portugal. Belgium. England, Denmark. England. Germany, Brazil. Oh, this is a tough one. But on this occasion, it's the Brazilians who march on. The Dutch or the Argentines? The Argentines. So we're left with Argentina, Brazil, and England, Belgium. Argentina, Brazil. Argentina goes on to the final. And England, Belgium. I don't want to do this, but I have to. So Argentina, Belgium final. And who do I have to win it? Belgium. Yep, I have Belgium to win the World Cup itself. What are your thoughts? What do you guys think? Who do you have to win the World Cup? How different is your bracket compared to mine? Well, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe, follow 876 Stream for more content.